Welcome to Trend Following Trades, new enhanced charting software available exclusively for NinjaTrader 7 for futures, forex, equities, ETFs, and options, or on any NinjaTrader 7 chartable instrument. We just made simple even simpler by providing paintable background colors of early trend development and short, middle, and long term market structure identification. We also provide custom Wickrenko price bars for NinjaTrader 7. Also added are audio warnings of upcoming trades that are setting up giving you, the trader, plenty of time to put your order in before the actual auto entry signal is plotted and alerted. These early audio alerts are market and time frame specific so you know exactly which chart that you have running to look at so you can prepare yourself to enter a trade in that particular market and time frame. Utilizing our high probability trading methodology that also targets a 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio unless support or resistance is in our way means that you only have to be correct 50% of the time to make decent money. Our average win percentage at 2 to 1 is generally much higher than 50%. However, in keeping math on your side yields generous profits even if you're only right half of the time. We don't try to pick tops and bottoms at areas that are overbought or oversold, area of confluence, or etc. Instead, we are generally are long or short into these areas looking to see if they hold or break. If they hold, we exit our remaining contracts with profit, and if they break, we enjoy watching our profits increase and continue into the areas of future confluence, etc and repeat this process until the current swing truly comes to an end, maximizing each contract's potential that the market has to offer. So if you're tired of trying to pick tops and bottoms, scalping for a few ticks, and you feel like you're stepping in front of a freight train, come and join us in a visually and method simplistic way of inside-out trading where a developing trend is truly your friend. Even in range-bound markets, we enjoy a generous 2 to 1 reward to risk partial targets and trailing into any breakouts that may occur where breakout traders pull us to further profitability. Our company's mission statement is to try and become a trader's last stop on their journey to successful, profitable trading, where the profits that you can earn have the best potential to ju truly generate a professional trading income. Let me go over some of the components of our system. First of all, we have our TFT MOMO indicator. This is a hybrid momentum indicator that contains quite a few variables to it that make it very unique. It's not your standard squeeze indicator. However, it does show uh, momentum acceleration to the upside and uh, various different forms of divergence that we can read, both standard, uh, extended, hidden, reverse, and things of that nature. With these uh, divergence conditions, we can make trading decisions. We're not divergence traders. However, we do recognize conditions of divergence and don't ignore them and do make trading decisions based off of them. This MOMO indicator also has a chop zone, essentially things that happen inside this area uh, in between these two lines uh, indicate areas of chop and uh, market indecision. And also these are customizable with every instrument, they have different levels. The next uh, indicator we have is what we call our price action indicator. And this up here consists of two lines, ones are what we call a trigger line and ones we call stop dots. Okay. And essentially, the area in between the two lines is what we call our value area. Value area. That's our priceless area uh, where we enter trades. Um, when price pulls back into here, there are times based on MOMO, uh, and you'll see these signals in here, the ones with the blocks, uh, yellow blocks are inside the chop zone, the ones without them are outside the chop zone. We have diamonds and arrows for actual trade signals. And depending on uh, the filter rule set that we've created for MOMO, uh, these signals sometimes are allowed to be taken, sometimes they're not. However, when we take go long in this value area here, it's ideally where we want to go long with market structure, and short in this value area here, where we want to go short with market structure and this background color. We also have our uh, pivot indicator, we call TFT Swing, and it has a short, middle, and long term uh, function. We put three on here, you can put as many as you want or as few as you want. And you can also have it plot price that the actual uh, pivot is at. And what's very unique about it is you can program both the period, the time, and when it does plot price, if you have it set the plot price, uh, swing indicators generally move these dots around. But once it plots price, that means the dots no longer moving. So we can rely on that as data that's not going to change. One of the newest indicators that we have besides the swing is also the early trend entry indicator. And that's determined by this light green, dark green, and light red, dark red. You can control the opacity of it, how dark you want to make it. 
and essentially we want to try to get into a swing with Momo permission and with structure permission in this light green area for a long and we want to get into a short again with structure permission with Momo permission uh, in this light red area this gives us the best chance of entering a trend early getting in holding our wrists tight getting our partial profits and then trailing out as the trend develops and then based on this momentum indicator we can determine when a trend is truly going to end without having to guess uh, based on overbought oversold or areas of uh, confluence the combination of these indicators alerts and also with this price action uh, we have new a new early warning alert system when price starts to trade inside the value area it gives you a signal of a potential setup in this market in this time frame and allows us to look at the chart uh, that we have running on our screen when we get a uh, setup for Wick Drenko YM we pull up the YM chart we'll see price coming inside of here gives us time to put our order in stop limit or start mark stop market depending on the speed of the market so that we can get into the uh, trade without having to wait for the signal to fire and then try to catch the price after the signal fires the trades that you're about to see being taken are taken in a nice trading day with two-way trending movement. These results aren't typical of an average day, however do show how the TFT method can maximize profit potential on days that have large swings, which happens quite often. Alright, let's show a live recorded trade example. Here, we took some trades earlier, I'll show them later on. We got into a trade here at uh, 15,372, uh, got an early warning signal going into here, triggered us in. When we get to 15,376, uh, we should get a diamond to plot here and a nice little doorbell sound. That means the trade's triggered in. You know, we're doing the early entry, uh, trying to jump this signal. We have light green uh, in the background for early trend indicator. We have Momo going in transitioning from sell to buy we have a very clear uh, start point right here diverges to the downside market structure higher high higher low and let's see if we can get the trigger in here you'll hear the doorbell sound at 76 and then after that we continue for it to go up at the double top we'll move our stop to break even we'll pull out the risk and then we hope to have it filled move on and trail it up above stop dots we'll actually put the trailer below stop dots and you know until we see some type of condition and momentum uh, that we can exit from or we just hold uh, the trailer uh, just below here for our exit all right we've reached our technical double top where we're going to pull the risk out of the trade especially since it's going to counter to the longer uh, term direction however we do have extended longer term divergence back to the upside we call this bullish divergence long term so we've taken a risk out of the trade and we're hoping that it breaks up here it gives us our partial at two to one and then we continue to run on up and you know again we'll move the stop we'll move our once the stop dots come up above here if they do um, we'll either get trailed at a break even or if the stop dots come up we'll pull the trailer up to follow the stop dots the market's gone up give us our partial target so we take this stop now we move it up according to the stop dots we want to not get out of here until we get a close below these stop dots so we move it you know one tick below or if we have a certain condition in momo tft momentum that we teach uh, to exit the trade from that all right, we very well have a possible unique situation coming up here where we call it an ad. Trying to maximize the movement of a swing. We have what was support, then became resistance, now becomes support coming across the left side here. If we pull down into this and close down in here, you'll hear an early entry alert. Uh, it'll say setup YM4, and that'll prepare us to get in at the open of the bar that closes uh, at or inside this value area right on support okay price is coming down to this area here let's see if we get our early warning alert 
should happen right at 15412. Trailer in this existing trade uh, will pay for this trade if it becomes a loser. So that's when we consider a time to do it. Set up YM4. So we got to get in here, our order, stop limit, the open of the bar that closed inside the value area. Nice bounce off of left side with what support became resistance, now support again. We do like to look at left side support and resistance to assist us in uh, trade probabilities. So let's see if it trips us in here. And then what we're going to wait for is in a sh if it goes up to uh, 15,420, we'll get a little diamond here. Uh, we'll trigger us in the trade now at 16. We'll get a diamond and a doorbell sound. That's the actual trigger of the close of the bar, the Wickfranco bar. And that will mean that the trade has triggered in at the close of the bar. Uh, we'd like to jump that by a brick to get us in a little bit earlier. Let's see if we get up to... Okay, there's the symbol and the doorbell sound. Now when we get to the double top, we're going to pull the risk out of this trade, which we entered at uh, 16. Let's see if we get up to 24, then we can pull the risk out of the trade. Very slow day. It uh, slow grind down, actually a little bit quick on the downside, slow grind up. Not uncommon for moves to the upside. Okay, there's our 424, pull the risk out of this trade. And we can lift our trailer up to here. So we have a trailer going on from the initial trade, actually right there. And we'll see what happens. If we get our partial and then market keeps going up, we still do have left side room to this pivot area here, a long-term pivot. So it's a reason we took the trade. We still have some room left. And if we do get up that way, then we'll hopefully trail, bring these together, and trail both along the same side. Looks like we're about to get our partial target up here. Hopefully it hits 31. And we'll take this out. Our partial 2 to 1 on our ad. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can take it out. Be nice for it to blast through. No reason why it won't. Still got a little bit of room up here. All right, got through it. Now we'll pull our trailers up. Okay, we've gone far enough now that we pulled both trailers up to the same point. We can actually move these up to here. And then we can just trail stop dots up. Let me just bring our targets together, get these out of the way. You just have the ninja trailer, you gotta have a target. So we wanna get those out of the way and trail to either a close below stop dots or uh, if we get a nice real strong diverged condition on uh, Momo will exit our reverse Renko bar at that. Currently right now we're up right against support, excuse me, resistance up here, left side resistance. Let's see, this is one of those areas where a lot of people might want to try to go short. We're just going to hang in there and uh, see what happens in this area. Hopefully it uh, pulls back a little bit and then it continues on further. Okay, it actually went through that area. Anybody that went short up there got stopped out. Now let's see if we can use that area once it breaks through as support to bounce off to go further up. I'm not going to do any more ads. I uh, have enough in here uh, from the initial and you know, from the second ad trailing out. Matter of fact, let's bring this up. Very slow market, uh, moving up very, very, very slow. Uh, very deliberate, but very slow. So just kind of been loose on the stops. Hopefully no news comes in and you know, punches this market down really fast, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let me put this on center here. See what happens uh, as time goes on. We could have exited right at this reversal Renko bar. We have a case of uh, reverse divergence up here. Kind of lost line of sight, so we're not going to use it. I uh, will trail again, stop dots here, unless we get another push up, pull back, and a divergence here. Exit or reverse Renko bar. Could have actually just done another ad right there. However, butting up against resistance like that and having been in this, uh, you know, that's fine. We'll just let that one go. All right, we moved up quite a bit. If we get a reverse Renko bar right here, we'll be out of it. Nice heavy divergence on Momo. Price pushed up quite a bit. 
and let's see if it gets us out here. If it does, we'll call that for the day. You can take a look at our PL. This is not a typical day uh, in the YM in the markets. However, I did play this uh, to, make, to make a nice video and show you the uh, capabilities of the method, the system with ads. We happen to have a nice two way market. Of course, that's why it's a video here. Um, however, having a two to one reward to risk, um, you know, we have a high percentage of trades, which I'll go over right at the end of this video. Let's see if we get stopped out here for it continues to push up. All right, it got us out of the trade here. What I'll do is I'll turn on all the ninja markers uh, for the day. I'll draw on the arrows and explain every trade that went by. All right, here we go real quick. Again, this is not typical uh, of a day um, where you have the follow through, uh, add to the downside, and then, you know, swing turnaround and follow through, add to the upside. However, it did get in here, nice clear. You know, notice all shorts are with red, all longs are with green, so very visually simple. Uh, Momo and background color, get a pull back into the value area. We get an alert that lets us know we get in, hold our stop, two to one target, take it out, trail to stop dots, or a condition of either reverse averges or standard versions on momentum will get us out and reverse Renko bar does here. Here we get 75% to our trade, move to break even, no profit there, counter trend, no permission going on here. Then we get our first permission short, get in, target, only got filled with one. It actually, with a stop limit, even though the market was really slow, somehow in this area here, it blew right through, never came back to fill me, only filled me with one contract. So I took that and then I took this secondary entry here, or it could have been an ad, and took that as a full position, target, trail, standard divergence, reverse Franco exit, it was a good call there. Got in here, market structure, trend background, transitioning from sell to buy, in here, got our two to one target. Still trailing, came up to a nice left side, support, resistance, support area, decided to do an ad, trailer could pay for it, Come up here to partial target, broke through this resistance area, really didn't hold, decided to hold stop dots, didn't break through them, came back up, could have actually done another ad here, decided not to do it, had a lot in it, then pushed up here, then we have a real strong diverged condition, got out of reverse Franco bar, or it would have gotten us out here. I'm actually setting up for another long, but I'm done for the day. Again, this is not a typical day of a three lot in the market in the YM, it's a six lot because of five dollar. Um, a tick value so to make it a ten dollar a tick market you trade six slots uh, treat two like one and overall not a bad day if anybody has any questions please don't hesitate to contact us uh, contact us at info at trendfollowingtrades.com or hit the contact tab on the website and please don't hesitate to give us a call